Whoa. Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. Welcome to another live stream. Tonight is Monday night. I do not have a press loan, sadly, so we're doing this inside my office. I'm setting up my selfie light, my Gigantor selfie light. It's been a while since I've done a live stream in my office, so I'm, I got a bunch of stuff anywhere, everywhere. It's been a it's been a day, all right? So um, no live stream, no uh, vehicle tonight, but, well, it's what it is. I do have some breaking sad news. Hey, Jeff Karate and, and Gear Runners here. Um, hate to report this, but uh, Swede went in the shop today. I, <laughs> I, uh, I got wiring issues, and it is just not, it is just not my um, cup of tea. So I could not get that going right, and he started, it, it, it's just a weird, I got wires everywhere, and I just was like, you know what? Time out. So Swede's in the shop. No press loan this week. I'm driving the wife's Mazda CX-5, and we're sharing it. She's at home anyways. So we're doing that, and uh, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, he'll be back. He'll be back like on Friday. So maybe do a special live stream with, with Swede when he's back, because it's going to be exciting. I'm excited. I have a really good guy down the street. My neighbor runs an independent shop, mom and pop shop. He's going to help me out. He's done a lot of experience with these old trucks, and he's going to help me out. And I may even, I may even ask him to do turn signals. Could have turn signals on Swede. It's, a, it's an exciting development. It's a very exciting development. Um, and you guys, Johnny Fives here, Wolfie's here, you guys have just blown up the channel. I don't know if you guys noticed that uh, that F250 video I did was 32,000 views in a week. Holy cow. And the uh, Chevy Duramat, or Chevy Silverado 3.0 liter with the wet belt. Yes, the belt is in the serpentine belt is in the oil. And like 23,000 views. My views on, on Monday, Moral Day, were insane. You guys all got bored or you got hung over and wanted to watch some videos. I'm not judging. One of the two happened. One of the two happened. But I'm telling you, holy cow, you guys have really just blown things up. Juan for the live stream was today. Uh, Joy's of all, yeah, I just, yeah, it just, it was just, oh, 62 Chevy T C10. I just, I, I just had to stop. I just, I, it's not. I, I'm a very left brain creative person, and the the right brain doing this mechanical stuff is just really hard for me. And so I just, I, I, I just, I, here's the deal. I spent like hours looking at this, <laughs> like hours looking at this, and I was like, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I just, I, 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 I asked people. I was on forums, and I just was like, this is just dumb. It's dumb. Uh, I, no, Wolfie, I've never driven a manual diesel truck. I've never done that. Interesting. Gene's here. 34-hour uh, rest. Johnny Fies in the house. He has been doing a lot of uh, long-haul driving, which is really cool. Oh, I didn't do my um, I didn't do my better connection. I don't want to lose you guys. I'm going to leave it on Wi-Fi. Dare to dream for turn signals. I know. Turn signals are huge. Hey, Brandon's here. Uh, wants, uh, Sean's repair and, repairs and reviews. I found a 1987 K10 for six grand. Wow, maybe buying that up. That's a lot of fun. That K10 four-wheel drive. I love those old square bodies. I, yeah, uh, that's where you hit the thumbs up. Yeah, hey, hey, guys, you guys have done. You guys are blowing this apart. This is exciting for me. I have had a great time reading the comments and responding to the ones I can. A lot of GM hate on that uh, oil video, but uh, so this week I thought I'd give you a preview. This week I have um, oh my other list. Oh my list. All right. I'm gonna, I was thinking about holding off on this, but I think I'm not going to because uh, you guys really want to see this stuff. So we're going to do the uh, Silverado Five Good Things and Five Bad Things. And I have a thing in that video. There's a very interesting part of that video you guys can just blow your cap about. And maybe maybe I'll tell you. I'll tell you on this video right now live stream as a special teaser just for you. The truck requires 93 octane level premium fuel. That's what the... Silverado 6.2 liter requires, and I have I've looked at the manual. I've done the manual. I've looked it up. 93 octane. In the state of Nebraska, you cannot buy 93 octane fuel. It does not exist. 91 octane is the bare minimum for premium fuel. That's the requirement. So I cannot actually fill that truck up the requirement of the GM specs. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that crazy? In the heartland, I cannot do it. And I think that South Dakota and maybe Montana and Wyoming are the same. 91 octane, I cannot use 93. It doesn't exist. I, 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 I mean, I can't, unless I 
to brew it myself, I can't get 93. And so 91 octane is it. And I and Johnny Fe uh, Gear Runner says he uses premium everything I own. I use premium on all my lawn equipment because I don't care for ethanol because it, it destroys the carburetors and gets the um, fuel lines all kind of messed up. And 91 is the best I can find around the area. That is what it is set up for for um, this area. So, I don't know. Uh, no, I did not say bed height one of those five things. I got away from that a little bit, uh, Brandon. I got new five things. I got enough of the short jokes and the F-250 thing. Somebody said I should have just owned a Prius. Mm, not happy with that comment. Okay. So, yeah. So, there was a, there was a lot of that going on. Um, I'm going to do the Jeep Wrangler diesel this week, I think, it, as well. And I'm going to say the Kia Seltos and the Pathfinder um, Rock Creek for next week because I know you guys won't be crazy about those, but... That's just what it is. Mm. Tasty. All right, so there you go. That, so that's what's going on this week in the Pickup Truck Plus SUV talk realm. I got new logo hats. I'm going to try to get those this week. I sent some hats out last week. People were buying hats. 25 bucks. Get you a hat. And I have a new yellow logo there, too. A little yellow. I moved it over. You've seen the logos. Maybe you've seen those. Um, Travel-wise, not doing a whole lot. Just kind of hanging out. It's just kind of, I don't know, man. It's just crazy. It's cool though. I like being home. I ordered. I. Uh... Okay, so you guys know I played an absurd amount of golf, right? You guys know this. Well, I have a whole new bag, like clubs and everything. I've been uh, I've been hitting on the range. I've been testing. I did a Callaway driver fitting today. I had a lot of stuff going on in the golf world. <clears throat> golf world, lots of cool stuff going on. So yeah, so there's stuff going on there. Sweet's gonna come back. We're doing landscaping. I planted four, four. Green Giants. They are Thula Green Giants. Look these things up. I ordered from South Carolina. They grow 8 feet wide, 30 feet tall, and the road noise and fire bark roads can go away. My wife's going to build a campfire tonight. We can sit in the fire pit and do live streams with no road noise. I got a peach tree, two cherry trees. I got the lawn set up right. I got to pour some concrete. Been holding off on that. I just emptied my um, trailer. I have like a like a 20-some foot trailer. We just empty that with the wood I got left over from the uh, shed. So that's going to be ready to go. And I'm going to do towing with Swede. When Swede gets back and I have a heavy-duty truck, my plan is to put Swede on the trailer and go towing with Swede. We're going to do that. So it's going to be great. So lots of cool stuff happening. And the garage. The garage is still, SBA loan is in, waiting to see what, the, what they come back and say because um, eventually... This business goes to the garage, and then we weld on stuff. <laughs> we pound on sheet metal. <laughs> we use a lot of uh, yeah, filler because <laughs> we screw things up. But we're going to build a truck, and I'm going to build a truck in the garage. And, uh, yeah, it's going to be a great time. You guys are going to really enjoy that segment of it. See the truck, see Sweet in the shop. It's going to be awesome. But, yeah, I don't know. Once Sweet gets back. Electrical issues are just, it's, I don't know. I'm going to spend a couple hundred bucks at least. So, uh, Brandon says, well, it was strange that the F-250 did not have a locking gas cap. That's a new thing, the new gas, no gas caps. Uh, well, trainer, yeah, so Johnny Five's in a trainer. He did the, um, he did a, a burger challenge. I think it was a burger challenge, right, Johnny Five? All right, I'm going to look at this. Best truck, best truck I had. Jad's here. 99th GMC Sierra, right to cab, long bed, 4x4, 5.3. Oh, red cab, long bed. Sweet setup. Juan got a haircut. Good for Swan. 6,000 Canadian. Oh, Canadian. Yeah. The great one is here. Brian's here. Brian's got a new hat. Brian's got a new hat. He's sporting a new hat. Uh, I'll buy a hat. It's not you. Uh, Joe Taylor's here. It's not a great truck. Uh, hi, all. You guys are going crazy. I'm 12. Another 40. Oh, Sean's a little bit, uh, a little young. Uh, yeah, da, 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 I see him run down high octane. Yeah, it's just that 6.2 liter. It's kind of crazy. Uh, da, da. We can't get 93 in Utah either. Only 91. That's interesting. I think a lot of states are like that. 91 is not available. 93 is not available. Yeah, now I think 91 is in Tennessee too. So to get the premium performance or the optimal performance, you have to have 93, which is just crazy. Then McCallie, the lockdown extended until June 15th, but open. Uh, oh, you did the hair. Yeah. So lockdown, I can get a haircut if I wear my mask, which I have my mask right here. It's my old drywall mask to the basement stuff. I have my, it's an N95. This thing suffocates me. I, we have to go to a. Um, a greenhouse with the wife and buying plants that kind of stuff and i wear this in the greenhouse and i about pass out so i'm just not doing it and uh i tell you i try to avoid it you gotta buy octane boost boost by the case apparently uh haven't seen 93 here in minnesota yeah it's interesting 
94. You can get 94. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so 93 is what it's going to be. 92 works the same. Uh, do you like Silverado's uh, Max 1500? Sarah Max? I thought Silverado's good. Post a photo of the Prius with a bed on <laughs> I'm not posting a Prius with a bed. It's not as bad as those, uh, uh, what are they, the little uh, VW bugs with a bed. I did, like, I, I did like the Pathfinder. I liked Pathfinder in if you were shopping for a very specific vehicle. It's very unique, and people don't give it a very uniqueness to it. It's got four-wheel drive to it. Legitimately has four wheel drive, four wheel drive lock. It's got some different features to it. It's just it's very outdated, Joe. It's just very outdated, and the marketplace is so hot right now. I can see them having problems. Mm -hmm. uh, heat wave, heat wave. Oh, in Puerto Rico, heat wave. Now you have it. I of course I joined my 2019 high country. It's a great truck. There's a new bag. Thanks. Uh, I know. Hard to get used to. I have a set of custom pings. You have a custom pings. Wow. I just, I, yeah. Channel success has paid off. New clothes, new bag. You're welcome. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, uh, I'm doing all right. I uh, got PPP loan. Thank you, uh, Uncle Sam. And the channel's taking off. And you guys are watching. And um, somebody said, uh, Brian, Brian is on here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chastise Brian for a minute. Brian Finn, he messaged me and said, hey, any new videos this week? And I thought about this for a minute. I thought, I, I looked up my tube buddy that tells me my stats. I have 598 videos. That means tonight's live stream is 599 videos on this channel. 599. I don't know. I, I tried to calculate how many hours you would have to watch to watch all the videos. It doesn't exist. They don't allow you to do it. The, the app doesn't work out. I, I couldn't do that. But I'm imagining, I'm imagining with these hour-long live streams, you're probably four or five days. So, hey, Brian, do a little search of Rooney, buddy. Do a little search of the channel, buddy. 599 videos tonight. Tomorrow's Silverado video will be 600. 600 videos. Holy cow. That is... That, that, 600 videos. That's insane, guys. Oh, so crazy. 600. How long do you think the 2021 F-50 will be delayed for? I think everything I'm hearing is 60 to 90 days. So uh, it is May right now, so August. Plus SUV, <laughs> plus golf. I know, <laughs> I know. I have this thought about starting my own golf channel just because I think it'd be funny, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't want to, I don't want it to, uh, I, I enjoy golf. I don't want to make it a work thing. That's my problem. Make it a work thing is going to be an issue. Um, Tula, no, Oriental, uh, ooh, I don't know that one. Uh, T-H-U-J-A, -T Tula, Green Giant. It's an ab, yeah, the ab, or, I can't say that word. Sorry. Um, yeah, it's one of those, it's just a big one. What do you prefer, gas? Just, I, I prefer, I prefer gas based on maintenance. Um, diesels are just a lot of maintenance, and it's just, it's a lot going on as far as service. And I talked to a longtime friend of mine who's written for several high thought after diesel magazines and stuff, and he's covering diesel for years. He says, I would never buy diesel. Too much maintenance. But I've only always, only, only owned gas. And so a little bit unfair to say that. I would love, I need to buy a diesel truck. I do. I really do. And I, I agree that is one of the downsides of my show and of my channel. And you can chastise me about that as well as being five foot six. Um, but yeah, I, I, I need to buy a diesel. That's for sure. Best truck I've ever owned. Yes, Brian. Best truck I've ever owned. I had an S10 back in the day. I had a Ford Ranger. My wife had a Ford Ranger, great truck. Uh, had a Tundra, True Crab, that was a good truck. Ah, Swede, I like Swede the best, 62. Jay Leno had the Cybertruck in his show. Oh, jeez. I get hit with the Cybertruck all the time, and I'm like, what a turd. Uh, looks like you might have emptied the bank account with your honey. <laughs> no. I <laughs> uh, saw the pics, oh yeah. Oh, with the to-do list, man. I tell you what, I was so tired, and I, I had to take a day off. Sunday... Unloaded a trailer, dug up 41 feet of yard to plant these three willows that came in today. And, uh, man, I couldn't do it. I told my, my my friend was over, my neighbor came over and helped me out on a little trailer. And it had a bunch of wood on there. And I said, I have to go lay down. I said, I am just beat. Wife and I have been walking three and a half miles in the morning. I've been walking 18, two, three times a week, working in the yard. I spent four and a half hours, or spent five hours power washing our fence and four hours staining the fence. 
I was beat, guys. I just was beat. I just, oh, I just was crazy. Yeah, bird walking. Very interesting. How does Nissan PR sell you a Pathfinder over time? <laughs> Nissan PR is not happy with me. They've never been happy with me. Um, if I make it up, so what, well, five. If I make it up there, down there, we'll have to do a live stream and I'm going to go, absolutely, Gear Runner. Absolutely. Someday you'll get there. Uh, yeah, I will. I will. Absolutely. Any restrictions on what you can use the PPP loan for? Um, no. No, I got I got the loan, and it was a substantial amount of money, man. I I am set. The whiskey fun is good. I'm drinking vodka during summer. Whiskey this fall. I'm trying to lose some weight, as you guys know. And I can't stop drinking, though, because I just I need to drink in the evening. That's, what I, that's how I do things. That's how I roll. I like roll. Yeah. That's still cool, right? Anyways, um, it's 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 was a great loan, and it turns into one percent loan. That's fine, but uh, no, they tell you if you use it for seventy five percent of payroll and twenty five percent of um, like your rent and mortgage, which is easy to do because I work at home. Twenty five percent of my office could go towards a house a rent mortgage. It's a forgivable loan, so. That's cool. I've I've only used it so far on payroll. Um, April was a terrible month it, for everybody. Everybody's CPMs were terrible, so the PPP loan helped out with the shortfall of fifty some percent from YouTube revenue towards the house income, the house budget, basically how it worked out. And so I'm sitting on the cash. I have sat. I I, I didn't buy golf clubs through the PPP. Don't get that wrong. I had a pretty good month a couple months ago in February and March, and so I had some cash saved up. So I, that's why I bought the golf clubs for. Um, and and the story on the golf clubs is really funny, is that the wife said last year she said you could not you could not get new golf clubs until I get a new car. Well, as you guys know, if I follow this channel, she's got a new car in the garage. <laughs> so <laughs> that was funny. Um, anyway. uh, best truck ever owned was 05 Dodge Ram SRT10 rear. Raven Cab, short bed. That's a sport truck, Bo. That was a cool truck. I've seen a few of those. That was a cool truck. Oh, yes. The Fat Burger XXXL Challenge. One and a half pounds of cheeseburger. Holy cow. Oh. I saw that, and I was like, oh, my goodness. A lot of burger. A lot of burger. Todd says, you only one one truck. GMC Canyon five-cylinder. Okay. And so that's new with... What, I got an arrow. Hold on. I'm going to scroll down. 186,000 miles. Most big. Well, yeah. Gotta love that. 186 miles, 1,000 miles with one truck. Perfect. That's a great size truck, too. That's a everyday driver. Perfect truck. Uh, Gear Runner says his Platinum Tundra is the best truck. So, Gear Runner, not the F-150. <laughs> uh, basically, completely open here in Tennessee. We, we haven't really changed a whole lot. The golf course is the only... Uh, the Callaway rep today, who's been all across Nebraska, says that our golf course is the only one that still has, you can't go in the clubhouse. The entire state's open. Like, no, nobody cares anymore. Oh, there, yeah. So, da, 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 hot boxing in the greenhouse. <laughs> uh, over the road, yeah. Stop right now. A lot of business clothes are not. Deliveries, luckily, the company I work for owns a lot of its own freight. Hey, Dave's here from Nissan Nation Podcast. If you bought a diesel, would you consider fully deleting it? Ooh. Ooh. I wouldn't unless I had to. So I've done, uh, on this channel, you find a million mile Chevy Silverado and a 500,000 mile GMC Sierra. And um, he didn't make any changes to his GMC Sierra until he had to. And I would do the same thing. Air quality, I'm a hunter, I'm a golfer, I fish. Air quality is much improved thanks to emissions. Does it suck? Yes, I agree. I agree. Fuel economy is not as great. Power is not as is, is better. I think I think fuel economy and power are better now today than we were five years five years ago. Like so if you look at the 2011 versus 2020 diesel, I think the power output in the fuel economy is better in 2020 than it was 11. Now, if you delete the 2020, you'll get more performance than you will the 2011. That's for sure. I'm, I'm not arguing that one. But I care for the air, and there is as I got the guy I interviewed with the, with the diesel um, uh, forum said there is a cost to clean air. The cost is the emissions, and so I would keep it the way it is until I had to do something. That's what I would do. And I know there's I know I'll get chastised in this in comments. And I get that, and I 
I appreciate those guys who delete everything right away because it's better. I get that. But I like clean air. And if you look at Pittsburgh in the 1970s and 80s, and yes, the plants have shut down, the steel mills have shut down, but also, gosh darn it, also, the diesel trucks have gotten a lot more f efficient at uh, getting closer to zero emissions. They really have. And so I would not delete until I had to. Uh, with that said, I've thought about making sweet a diesel truck. Fuck yeah. I thought about doing that, but um, just too many irons in the fire as it is. Uh, hey, <laughs> Nation of Nissan's here. Thanks, Dave, for two ninety nine. We keep switching that back, flopping that back and forth. Best truck I ever owned was a two thousand two Silverado Z seventy one seven cab five point three liter. Survived Hurricane Charlie outside. Helped pull the shop at, at work apart. Evacuated Hurricane Giant with twenty four hour drive and blasting work. Wow, wow, nice truck, Gene. Nice truck. Ahmad is here. Octane boost is not good to run in the long term. It always leaves noticeable deposits. Yeah, I didn't even think about octane boost. That's interesting. Tim's Facebook page is funny. I know. I'm, I share a lot of funny stuff over there. You buy a used truck from Hertz, Avis, and Enterprise? Yeah, why not? They're using servers pretty well. Eric's here. What do you think it hurts to make? I, uh, there's a guy I know who does used car dealer. Uh, sales in Atlanta, and he hasn't seen any changes. I think the Hertz bankruptcy is not going to put them out of business. They're going to reorganize their debts. We still need them, and the economy is going to come back. Uh, and what's going to happen is I'm going to start traveling here again, guys. I'm going to be gone for a month. That's why I'm working so hard outside. My golf clubs and the house, I'm trying to put a, a shed up, and I'm trying to put a garage up. I want to get all this stuff done because I know come July, August, September, I'll be on the road for a month. I'll be flying in and out, going crazy. That's why I'm doing the live stream tonight, even though I don't have a press on, because I'm going to be on the road. It's going to happen. Bronco, you got, look, think about it. You got Bronco, F-150, uh, Ram, Re uh, uh, Rebel TRX. You have Jeep Grand Wagoneer. You have a Tahoe, Suburban, Yukon first drives. Kind of Escalade first drives with, the, with all different designs and the diesels. So, I mean, you have so much stuff going on. Nissan's got a new Rogue. They got a um, new Frontier, maybe, eventually coming out. You got tons of stuff going on. This industry is hot right now. Oh, GMC Hummer. You got Lordstown probably do something. You got the Nikolai. I saw my friend Sean Homa with the work truck shows down in Nikolai doing a, a radio interview down with those guys. So there's a lot of stuff going on. This industry is going to fire. It's going to be hard to keep track of stuff. And I'm gonna get on a plane pretty soon. I know it's coming. I got a I have a million mile um, Dodge Ram in Texas. I have a million mile Chevy Silverado outside of Flint, Michigan. I have the Jeep Gladiators with the Hellcat engines outside of Holly, Michigan. I got I got stories to do. I got stuff to do. I, it's just crazy what's going on. Um, so you plan on doing an after show for Tim Six? Oh no, after show. <laughs> <laughs> no, 600 is going to be cool, though. It's going to be cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ben's got a hat. No. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. Hats for sale. 25 bucks. I, I literally make 5 bucks, guys. I make 5 bucks. I have the, the place in town has been suspect lately. Brian's been a, a, a good trooper. Um, I'm hoping they will get their shit together and they will get some hats in. But, yeah, they've been terrible. Uh, Memorial Day weekend was... Uh, I played in golf tournament Monday. A Saturday and Sunday were around the house. Had uh, burgers and hot dogs like most Americans would do on Sunday. So it's it's been good. I've seen your videos yet, but I watched it. Any details in six hundred video besides just the product? Oh, um, well, I told you uh, Pathfinder Jeep Wagoneer Diesel. I need to do a video on. Uh, I want to do a video on. I, I haven't figured this out yet. You guys comment below. So we had a lot of success doing the Chevy videos, right? Chevy questions answered kind of things. We did a lot of success with the Toyota questions answered. I'm thinking Ford or Ram. What do you guys have? Do you guys have questions for Ram? Do you want, like, Ram questions or Ford questions? Well, you guys, I, I, I'm curious about this. I, I, uh, that's what I want to do, Robert. I want to ask you guys for some more questions. And then, because right now, until the industry picks up, I got a couple reviews. And I got more reviews the next agency is taking over. I got price stuff scheduled. They'll be here maybe Friday, week after Friday, whatever. And so I may have a little drought for a little bit, but that's just what happens. I'm thinking Ford or Ram. Let me know. 
make it a hobby, a work thing, and a hobby becomes. Yeah, I know. I don't want to make. I don't want to make golf a work thing. It just. It just takes away from it. Six hundred videos. Yeah. Oh, Johnny Five has missed one. Wow. Kudos to you. Golf clap for Johnny Five. That's crazy. I haven't missed one either. <laughs> uh, back in the carburetor days, diesel at last gas, but not so much. I know it's changed quite a bit. I only buy a truck. I only buy a diesel. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of it's only what I have. Uh, eight, oh, come on. All right, 1989. Oh, jeez, I had it there. Sorry, I'm way behind. Um, I'm catching up. Holy cow! 89 Dodge Power Wagon. Oh yes, the Dodge Power Wagon. I'd buy a Power Wagon. You're sh short by very short. Sometimes. Here with you, my coworker bought a brand new set that changed the oil for 350. Yeah, oil changes are crazy. Yeah, I, you, oil changes. You got uh, um, the EGR, uh, not EGR, but injector. It's got to always be replaced at some point. There's additional costs for. Um, it's 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 oil changes are additional, and the injector is always going to be replaced. And there's and then you start getting EGR issues, and that's going to be replaced as well. That's so maintenance costs. So a, a diesel oil change is like two or three times more than a gasoline oil change. Nissan Frontier Pro 4X, love that. Do a full delete, change my oil. If you change your own oil, it's a different story. I can see that different story, but still, it's a little more. The, the filters are more expensive, but diesel filters are more expensive. You have 310,000 miles in Tacoma. Wow, that's great. Let's do custom. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Why does Nissan Pair not like you? Oh, I. <laughs> I. I. I speak the truth too much. And that Titan, they could do a lot better with. The Frontier could do a lot better with. And I did a video that said, "Is the is the Titan um, is the Titan doomed or the is the Titan gonna fail or something like that?" And they called me, and they're not happy with that at all. It is lemonade with vodka. Um, they, I just, I, I, I want to like their products, but I, they're in a bad funk right now, and their products aren't that good. And I tell Oz it is on this channel, as you know, and they just don't like that about me. I don't get invited to stuff as much, so I'll get invited to all Chevy stuff and all the. Um, Toyota stuff, hit or miss on Ford and hit or miss on Ram, but Nissan's like a solid no. They don't want me there. They just don't. I just I I have concerns. Uh, yeah, happy wife, happy life. Yeah, I like some of these. Look, look, coming Ram. Don't lucky. Uh, neither F and C's are worth driving because <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. I've always loved the HD. I hate the small trucks. I've had one time they just eat eat. Brakes and tires, yeah. If you really care about fuel economy, that three liter diesel that Chevy's got is amazing. Uh, EGR, who doesn't like clean air? Maybe trade offs. Yeah, it just, there's so much going on with the diesels, too. Are they better? Yes. That's just not ready there. Records, pretty clean exhaust. Remember when not being able to see the smog 78? Yes. The skies were bad. They were very bad back then. I'm on 10 probably own diesels. I'm getting caught up. I'm getting caught up. Mm -hmm. I experienced a quality first time. I think it's soon we started getting trash cut to know. Yeah, it is there. Road tip of trim. <laughs> so, so my wife wants to go to South Dakota to the Black Hills for her for like next week, week after something like that. I was like, you know, I should take Swede up there. Swede road tip. A road trip of sixty two Chevy C ten. It's one hundred and seventy miles. It's three hours or so. So, Swede to the Black Hills. I don't know. Could be interesting. Yeah, Boko, you're right. If you, if you do a diesel and do your own maintenance, I could see that you would have better cost. You could keep control the cost. You go to the story the Pruitt built Ford in Brookwood, Texas, building new F one fifty high boys six Oh, yeah, the, the F2, yeah, I've seen those. And if I can make that, I have a standing invitation to go to Texas, and I'm going to tour Toyota's headquarters and do that million mile story. I see you get on a plane. I need to get on the plane, Bo. I, I just have, it's just tough. Right now, getting on a plane is just crazy. Years of the economy to come back where it was, especially if the second wave comes. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I don't know. I, the, my CPMs on this channel, my advertising on this channel is back to where it was. I will say that. So I don't know if the economy is coming back or not. 
Huh. Would you buy a beater truck to show bad what if theories? Overloads, mixed gas in tank, things like that, max price five hundred bucks. Sure. I could buy something like that around here. That'd be that'd be interesting. I'd have to I'd have to get you guys to send me your theories to make sure I get them all, but yeah, I could do that. Hmm. Uh, and Robert, my local mechanic here, he would help me out and fix it to get up on the road again. I have thought about that. I, I I thought about buying a truck too. I really want to buy a truck for this channel. Um, a work truck, kind of low trim level thing, but yeah. It's interesting. I have my mask one. I wear my mask to Walmart. I just don't wear it to Home Depot and stuff. Yeah, hate flying. Good luck with that. This job is all about flying. Uh, what's your experience with 620? Uh, my per gallon was uh, 21. I got 21 on that versus on, not the computer, on my phone, the calculator. The calculator was 21. The uh, the computer was 20. I thought it was pretty damn good. I love I love that powertrain. The 6.2 with a 10-speed is an amazing powertrain. Premium fuel sucks. It's an amazing powertrain. It used to be a zero emissions fuel instead of all the emissions control. All that stuff you can fail. It's more money made. So it's better to have emissions. Yeah. Hydrogen zero emissions. I buy my diesel filters online. Yeah. Boko, if you do it online, you, you shop around, you can make that maintenance cost go down. I agree. If you go to a dealership do maintenance all the time, you'll see a big increase with diesel. Uh, industry is about to cool off at dismal sales of summer financial chain. Yeah, it could be. I mean, I don't know. Do you think there'll be any more truck car or truck launches this year? Let's be who's live like, There's been so so you guys know there's a secret Facebook group that we're all part of, and they asked us they asked a bunch of us for a survey whether we fly or not, and a bunch of us are ready to fly tomorrow. A bunch of us are ready to go. I'm ready to go fly tomorrow. I, I'd like to get a Batman mask. I want a black Batman mask. I don't want this thing, but <laughs> anyways, anyways. Uh, a bunch of us are ready to fly tomorrow. A bunch of us don't want to fly at all. And the people I've noticed don't want to fly at all don't really go to events anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. So there's a there's a big split in industry whether we want to have events or not. Uh, Toyota unveiled their Sienna and their Venza online. That was a huge disaster. I didn't like that at all. That was just terrible. And so I don't think they'll be doing more of that. So I think automakers need to travel. And the PR departments right now are working through how this is going to work out. But I think there will be a lot more truck, car, truck launches. I think those car, truck launches have value. And I think automakers see they have value. And I think we'll be on the road doing those things. Because I get to touch it, feel it, sit in it, you know, look out the window kind of stuff that you guys don't get a chance to, to do until I hit the deal a lot. And that builds some momentum for early sales, which is really key for automakers. So... I think there will be more stuff. Um, will they be different? I don't know. I don't know how you change the model the way it is. The way the model is kind of works. Auto shows, we all be delayed, but I don't go to auto shows that much anymore anyways. So I just don't know. I think it's going to happen. I think things are going to come back faster than people think. I think second wave could happen, but it's such a weird time to be alive right now and be in the industry and be what I'm doing. And make guesses. It's it's just throwing darts at the wall. It's just it's who knows. Uh, RVing with a truck camper is cool. You can sit and travel anywhere you want to. Uh, the Bronco le release was postponed. It was supposed to be the end of April. It's been postponed. But the pro here's the problem that that stuff like Steve. Um, the problem with that stuff Steve is that it's just a sequence. They unveil it, we drive it, they build it, and so. Once you disrupt that sequence, you have problems because nobody wants a nobody wants a bunch of Ford Broncos to show up at the dealer lot and just be sitting on the dealer lot. I know consumers may say, I want that, but they hear nothing about that. And so it really destroys the chain. And so there's no built up like, wow, here it's coming, coming, it's coming. here it is, you know, here's first drive, here's first photos, here's this. And so you lose that build up initial build up of that vehicle and so I still think that's gotta happen and so with the automakers going back with their uh, like Ford has gone back to work, Chevy's gone back to work, uh, and Ram's gone back to work as far as building trucks, I think we'll start the sequence start up again. And I think that's gonna happen. You know, the, the reality of this stuff is is at the one one side you could say the coronavirus has destroyed everything and it really has. And for good reason. People are dying in Boston, they're dying in New York City, dying in Detroit. 
God bless them. People are dying from this. I'm not arguing at all. Here in Nebraska, it's not a big deal, but people are dying for this. And so it, it is making a difference. However, the economy still has to move forward. Those who aren't dying still got to do stuff. And so you have this really weird place, and automakers still got to move this stuff forward. So it's it's a it's a weird place to be, and uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. I, it, it's just going to be strange. But I do think that at some point things are going to be rock and rolling again. You know, from my aspect of it, when I look at stuff from my small business, so my YouTube channel and my creative services business or my small businesses, when I look at it, basically I had a I had a really poor April. I had a poor April. March was pretty good because I had some cool videos go out. But April was a really poor period of time. Well, I had one month. So out of the 12 months, I have one bad month. That's how I view it. Okay. That's just business, folks. That happens. I've been in business myself now 11 years. I've had some bad months. I've had some bad quarters. It's just part of business. So I, I don't, I think automation to see that too. They're going to say, okay, well, the second quarter was kind of rough. But then third and fourth quarter, well, guess what? They may take off again. They may need to uh, to advertise a lot and sell some stuff to make up for the, the, the sorry second quarter. And I'm sorry. I was talking to my, I, was, I met a friend who's actually a hunting guy. <laughs> Owns a he actually is a rep for a big hunting company. We're having playing golf, having drinks. He was looking for a used truck, and I told him, I said, looking for a two-year used truck. I said, you're dumb. Not you're dumb. I should say it differently. I said you should think differently. I said these new truck loans, zero percent APR for eighty-four months, one hundred twenty-four, mo one hundred twenty months, no payments. It's free cash. It's free money. Like you should buy a new truck today. Because those deals are insane. So what happens to the truck market? What happens three? I mean, it's all these questions. But I just think that there's a lot going on. There's a lot that just could happen. Oh, it keeps offering. Oh, sorry, man. Uh, liability. Sorry, it keeps buffering. Uh, six, wait. Jared Hall. Gerald Hall. Gerald Hall, favorite truck, 67, 79 F Series. What a great truck. What a great truck. This would be perfect. Uh, Nissan, Nissan's not going under. I don't believe they're going under, but it's just, yeah. Tough. I am so behind. Stick to the Nissan press team. I want to agree with you they should build a real half ton truck. I, I I will tell you this that uh, I can't lie. I, can't, I suck at lying. And if they want me to lie and tell you it's a good truck, have at it. Now, I haven't driven a new Titan. I think they've done some really good changes to that new Titan, that 2020 Nissan Titan. And they they picked up my Silverado today, and the chase vehicle to pick it up was a Nissan Titan. A little pissed about that, but okay. All right. Uh, t -t 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 I'm going to turn a tornado warning in Minnesota. Oh, take care, man. Get in the basement. Around Dakota coming. I don't think so. Oh, jeez. I don't know. I don't know anymore. I would I would, uh, I would, say no, it's not, but the world has changed. Uh, Ram told me two years ago, not going to happen. But the Jeep Gladiator is really expensive, and there's a slot there now, and they have got to see that. And I would think it's going to happen. I would think that Ram's eager, and they're going to do stuff. <laughs> Recommend Ford's. When you get to the Ford Prescott, tell Ford to bring back the excursion. I think there's going to talk about it. Ram Q and A. Thank yeah. you, Friday. Only Jones, I I love to watch. I love your honesty. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I uh, I um, I'm probably too honest. Could you review a 2018 Ram 2500 Ramlet on a six-speed manual? Uh, if I find one, I could. I don't know that I could, I'd have to look at the dealerships to find one. Um. I, I don't know if any dealerships around me have one. The manuals are so hard to find. Nobody's ordering them. I did do... I have a 2018 Ram 2500 Laramie, or a Cummins, on the channel, I think it is. I didn't, I've driven it at different times, but I don't think I've done the manual. Manuals are just tough for me to find. Uh, single cab new edition. Uh, or truck. This official weakness. Six, yeah, 600 is going to be interesting. Very interesting. Ram Q&A. Ram, okay. Live on, live on the golf course next week. <laughs> Like no, but happened the three related power strike thing disappear from the market. It did. They're, I think they're redoing it. It's funny that Ram boys actually believe the TRX is going to be with the Raptor. Like Ford has been lying in wait. Yeah, 
It ain't gonna compete with the Raptor. It's gonna be pretty badass, but it's I don't need a Raptor killer. Oh really? Juan's got issues changing oil. I'm gonna change front here then to come on the miss side. Nissan doesn't want me. <laughs> yeah, Nissan going under. I don't think they're going under. Tell me. Uh, it tells me it tells you what's going on. Nissan sad. Nissan was a great company back in the day. Nissan Twin Turbo 300ZX. Sweden Black Hills. An awesome point of view vehicle video. I have thought about this. I thought about driving to South Dakota. What the hell? Road trip with Sweden. Yeah, you guys will watch it. Will he make it? How much oil will I use? How much antifreeze will I use? How much gas will I use? How much will my butt get sore in the seat? Those are really key questions. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Joe land on the gauntlet. Too bad Nissan can't invite real car people to these events and all these influencers. Boy, uh, David Boyd with Nissan Podcast, Nation Podcasts or Productions got something to say about that. Uh, the French, hey Joe, Nissan sucks. Oh, Nissan. All right. So, all right. Enough of Nissan. I'm sorry. I just, yeah. Uh, the plan dropping tomorrow. On, I'll, I'll maybe do a video on that if I see it when it comes out. You and Nissan used to collab on a review. I, yeah. <laughs> we talked about that. Um, I actually did a, a video with him, Gene. I did a video with uh, Nissan Nation podcast. Uh, Nissan Nation Tuesdays. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Gene. Nissan might come back so that good start. Favorite truck. Here we go. 67 Sport Wagon. Favorite truck was a 1989 Chevy Z71 rear cab short. I mean, a rear, regular cab short bed. 4x4, four four, step side, 350 V8 with down back black paint. What a cool truck. Regular cab short beds. I like mine. 1979. Nobody's replaced a real truck. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, Fleet Fels the FA and ticket was $828. Nobody's done. They're really expensive. Oh, wow. I thought it'd be cheaper to fly right now. Interesting. Um, I need your tips for a diesel truck. What main is important? Oh, yeah. Somebody give Juan some tips. Uh, I took a dealership for service. Nothing Nissan. I totally have to touch. Ooh. All right. All right. Come on. I didn't mean the, the dog on Nissan. To be safe, Nick, so it should be near. <laughs> it is. Uh, next car show will be Texas State Fair Truck Show. That is agreed. It could be, yeah. Be there in October. I, I, I like that show. I'll be there. In, I will definitely be there in October. The only thing that pisses me off is like, that they do it in the press days, which means none of the food places are open. I can't get any of those big Texas sites food. And like, like the, uh, what's that? Fried bread with the powder sugar. Everybody calls it something else. Like, we call it elf in ears, but everybody calls it something else. Can't get that. What chip would you buy for the channel and why? I think I would actually... I was thinking of this earlier. I would buy a work truck. A work truck trim. I like... but I, I, I don't know why, but I have my eye on the um, custom trail boss. So the custom is the work truck trim that Silverado builds, the Chevy builds. And you can get it in the trail box format, so it's got the lift to it. Yes, I'm short. Yes, I want the lift. Get over it. I put steps on it. And you can get it in the 6.2 liter V8 in that configuration. I would I would think about doing that. I would lease it and then sell it after a few, like, six to nine months and then buy a Ford and buy a Ram and buy a Nissan. And can I go through the, the round? But I, I really want to see what that truck is, and I cannot get the press agency, anybody else in Chevy, to send me one. I'd love to see what the custom trail boss, like work truck, rubber floor mats would look like and drive like in a 6.2 liter with the V8. Let's see it. I'd like to see it. Um, would it be everybody's truck? No. I'd go through every, every manufacturer. Every manufacturer's good right now. They're hard to find a bad truck. And so I would do that. Yeah. And I'm getting caught up. Uh, near Carter Show is, can't, yeah. Do you think Ford Bronco is going to be successful SUV for Ford? Yes. Yeah. I think the body on frame SUV is making a comeback. People are tired of these CUVs that don't really have anything. Life continue. I agree, Brian. Uh, God, Lee, I press the button. I'm sorry, guys. I press this button and it just goes like crazy. Oh, yeah. All right. Later, Gear Runner. Uh, Jeez. Holy cow. All right, there we are. I'm going to try the down arrow. There, down arrow works. Uh, my favorite one was this 2,000, three-quarter ton Suburban, but 80,000 miles on it, and I've only rebuilt trans. Andrew Moss, you're my hero. 
The it was interesting was the three quarter the heavy duty suburban. I thought would make a comeback because the heavy duty trucks are not limited by cafe, and it makes sense that they would do a heavy duty. Both says wouldn't fly right now for anything. My friends flew Miami a week ago, and his flight delayed three times because the crew had to rest. Nine p.m. flight to four a.m. flight. Ugh. I was on Fridays, I believe, almost every weekend in summer. Oh, uh, injury replacement is crazy. Nissan Titan sells less than hundred. Line is really embarrassing. <laughs> Which one has the wiring problems? Oh, my 62, yeah, my 62 Chevy C10 Swede. If you look on Instagram, Chevy underscore Swede. Um, I put a new dash in, and I cleaned up the wiring, and I inadvertently screwed everything up. And so I just took it to my guy, and I said, hey, have at it. Let me know how it's going to cost, and get it running again. If I, if I jump over the coil and wire it directly into the fuse box in the cigarette lighter that has power at all times, it'll turn right over. Starts right up. It's just a wire issue. It shouldn't take me very long to figure out, I don't think. It just I just I just suck at that stuff. I just do. I nothing I can say about that. Twenty twenty is good refresh, there are restrictions. There's too many too many unknowns about quarter three and quarter four, but just, sure. Oh on those, yeah, I can see that. Some import sales I think may be down because COVID. Yeah. Uh, Nissan has reduced the models they're building, reduced the number of vehicles. But yeah. Uh, later gear, used truck car market will be flooded. There are fields being flooded by farmers just park. Really? Huh. There are fields being rented by farmers just to park rental fleets. Wow. Boondocker. Boondocker. I like that name. Boon. That's cool. Uh, it reminds me of Aaron Boone with the Braves. Anyway, 78 Toyota would literally not die. Green. Uh... Oh, you have to give up all the rebates? It's still, 0%. John, I mean, that's what I've been telling everyone. If you need a vehicle, now is the time. It's crazy. Oh, I, I answered that, Wolfie. Oh, I just, if I could find one, Wolfie, I would do it. Yeah, Yaz is here. Those truck deals aren't that great when you have to take away the rebates. It's good. Really? I don't know. Hmm. Just 91 Octane, 93 too high. It's not a supercar. Yeah. 20, Doug... Doug is here. Doug. I'm just little at Doug. <laughs> I have a 2006 Chevy three quarter ton, four four drive, only 24,000. Holy cow. 24,000 miles on a 2006? What do you do? Drive like a half mile a day? Holy cow. Oh, you like, my, really? You like my reviews the best? I don't, I always criticize my reviews. I think my reviews are terrible. I try to get, I'm always critical of myself. I always do better. Destroy the eco crap <laughs> See the Ram making fun of the Raptor TRX chasing the Raptor Easter eggs. Oh, Rams really make fun of stuff. 2002 to It's almost 10 grand off of $52,000 truck. Yeah. How long will tow truck take? Oh, no. No, I started the Swede up, took him down there. I, I drove Swede to the repair shop, and uh, yeah, he's good. Who do we ask? Contact at Nissan and get them delivering the trucks again to you, Nissan. Oh, I. <laughs> no, I'm not a member. Yeah, I'm on the list for the Titan. I don't know what's going on, Gene. I'm sure I'll, be, I'll get the Titan eventually. I got the Pathfinder. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, it just... Those things. If I had a Nissan dealership in the area, I'd just go get a Titan tomorrow. But there's no Nissan dealership in the area. A good song fitting those times when I post a link in chat once I find them. Oh, cool. Yeah, let me know. TRX is better. What time? Nice stream for the reveal plan. Oh, yeah. Nissan deal. Scotty coming over, Tim. <laughs> no. Scotty is not coming over. Enough weirdo in this house tonight. Enough weirdo. That guy is weird. He is, it just, legitimately, I've met the guy. I've met the guy in person. He's weird. Just a weird guy. Oh, we need a day in life when Tim reviews his truck. I did a day in the life. I did a day in the life when I went on a press trip. A day in life when I reviewed the trucks. I could do that. It could be interesting. Buy this Silverado, I, I would. I, I just, the channel's not quite there yet. We're, we're almost there. It needs to... Just keep growing. It needs to keep growing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get some rest. Later, guys. Later, Johnny Five. Thank you for doing this country, delivering this stuff. It's good. Very good. Very, very much appreciated. MTRX plays top five in the bottom 1,000. I think, seriously, it's going to race that. Yeah, I, I figured you did. Uh, what was the next generation bad? They need to be competitive with the company. Interior, interior, and exterior design. I think the powertrain is fine. I think the four-wheel drive is fine. Unibody, and yeah, I'll never go back to body and frame. Tell you that much. It just it needs a 
Good interior. Really good. Hey, Big Truck Big RV is here, my buddy. I was going to look at it because I'm a JD. JD. I, so JD. I have JD's business card, and I have to look at this because a little particular on how he wants his day and done, so I make sure I say JD. JD is here. Um, big, <laughs> he's a good, I like JD a lot. We've done some videos in the past. Uh, da, 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 da. 29,000 subscribers. I should be there. What am I at? 29. My phone's blowing up a little bit, but uh, I think I'm close. I'm at. I've added. This weekend was huge. I added. Um, I added. Uh, let's see. I added 75, 64, and then 79 in the last three days. Huge weekend. Big weekend. Um, does Chevy PR realize how nice Ram is? <laughs> Yes, they do. I know they do. I talked to him about that. We've had good times. Uh, I agree with Scotty. He's kind of weird. Uh, good night, Johnny Five. Have you met Doug DeMiro? I've not met Doug. I've been in similar events with Doug, but I've never met Doug. I've not. I've, I've seen him. That matters. But I've not met Doug. Uh, very few rebates on the Tundra. Oh, the cow. I think I'm, I think I'm caught up. Let me scroll down again. You have, oh, he has driven a new Titan. Oh, lucky. Yeah, it's the way it gets for being in Texas. Texas gets more trucks than I will. Doug DeMiro is the weirdest. <laughs> he is a, he's a little strange, I will tell you that. I've uh, I've watched his videos since I started doing YouTube. I've committed a chant to YouTube, and i watch more videos than YouTube I've ever had in the past. And I will tell you that Doug's a little different for me. His Cybertruck was good. He brought us some interesting points. He brought up some true cross shopping points on that with the three quarter ton uh, truck. I would not consider the Cyber Truck to be much cross shopped between true truck fans, but it was interesting. It was interesting. And so, yeah. <laughs> Joe, Joe's cracking me up. They don't hate me, we just don't always get along. And I will tell you, one of my favorite guys, in Nissan PR has just moved back from Japan. And I can't wait for Mr. Dan Pass, I will say his name, Mr. Dan Pass, to come back to Nashville. Dan Pass is a very mature view of where they're at in the business, and he gets it, and he, him and I have a great time back and forth. We get each other, and he knows where I'm coming from, and so I can't wait for Dan Pass to come back and have some events, because I really do like him, and I think he will do a lot to help out the Nissan Pair team. Uh, double cab. Will there be a lot of those new like, trucks in Texas? Huh. <laughs> Jen, <laughs> most people's names are in mug and don't need events. <laughs> That's funny. Look at this. It says June for 2020s. I can see June, July, somewhere in that range. 2006 Chevy, 24,000 miles, plain Jane, work truck, boat pulling, hunting, etc. A couple other half tons I put miles on. That's a perfect truck. Perfect truck. They do. They do. They have some. They, they do. Um. You have better. You have some good people down in Texas. Yeah, I'm just the wrong market. My my PR team is fine. No problem with them at all. I just we don't always see eye to eye, and um, you know, yeah, build the warrior. Absolutely, build the warrior. All right. So this is uh, six minutes short of an hour. Gosh darn it! My Apple Watch changed the face again. Sons of bitches. I always got to change the damn face in this thing. It drives me up the wall. But the campfire is roasting outside. I think it's time for me to go enjoy the campfire and uh, pour a little more vodka in my drink and sit back and relax. Oh, I can take, do some other stuff. But no, putting it off for tomorrow. Uh, six minutes left. Any other questions, con comments, concerns? 2007 GMC LBZ Duramax Kukat four wheel drive. Still have it. Awesome. Well, that, that's a great truck i've done the 2006 video i did with the million mile truck was a great truck as well that's a great power plant awesome with the allison transmission it's outstanding outstanding i think is the word outstanding i think is the way they say that so comments concerns i will let you know next week maybe do a live stream from swede when he goes back from the shop yeah i want to see a golf channel i, <laughs> I thought about doing golf channel I've thought about doing a golf channel for fun because I think I could have some fun with them golf course. I am I'm not sure. I have thought about that, Joe. I, I it's on my list of things. If this channel gets big enough, I can go full time. Maybe I'll do that as a side project because I have a lot of fun with the golf course too. People like playing golf with me, so I have a good time. 
Now, good night, everyone. Good night. All right, we're done. I'm going to get out of here. It's been an hour. You guys have been awesome. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for being part of the channel, man. You guys make it happen. You make it happen. It is fantastic. Good night, guys. I'll see you down the road. 450 overkill. Of course it's overkill. Come on. Oh, thanks for hats. Yeah, order your hat. Send me a hat. Send me a hat. Email. Yeah, that thing.